Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about something that's very important for all pet owners out there. It's about how to know if your pet is crying for help. Our furry friends can't always express themselves in words, so it's important to be aware of the signs that they may need our help. As much as we love our furry friends, they can't always tell us when something's wrong. So it's up to us to keep an eye out for these warning signs. Whether you're a new pet owner or a seasoned pro, these tips will help you give your pets the care and attention they deserve. Here are 10 signs your pet is crying for help. 1. Changes in eating habits. The first sign that something may be wrong with your pet is a change in their eating habits. If your pet suddenly stops eating or drinking, or starts to eat significantly more or less than usual, it could be a sign of an underlying health issue. If you notice any of these changes, it's important to consult with your veterinarian. 2. Difficulty breathing. If your pet is having trouble breathing, it's a clear sign that something's not right. If you notice your pet panting excessively, wheezing, or struggling to catch their breath, take them to the vet immediately. Breathing difficulties can be caused by a number of things, from respiratory infections to heart problems, so it's important to get a proper diagnosis. 3. Lack of energy. If your pet seems lethargic or has lost their usual spark, it could be a sign that they're not feeling well. Keep an eye out for changes in their behavior, such as sleeping more than usual, reluctance to play or go for walks, or a general lack of enthusiasm. If you notice these signs, it's worth getting your pet checked out by a vet. 4. Changes in bathroom habits. Your pet's bathroom habits can also provide clues about their health. If you notice changes in their urine or stool, such as blood or an unusual odor, it could be a sign of an underlying condition. Difficulty urinating or defecating is also a cause for concern and should be checked out by a vet. 5. Excessive scratching. If your pet is constantly scratching or licking themselves, it could be a sign of an allergy or skin condition. While occasional scratching is normal, excessive scratching can lead to skin infections and other health problems. If your pet is scratching more than usual, Take them to the vet for a proper diagnosis. 6. Excessive thirst and low appetite. No, your pet doesn't think she needs to go on a diet. A change in appetite can signal a number of medical conditions in pets. It can also mean your pet is in pain. Owners usually notice when their cho hounds aren't living up to their usual reputation for eating anything they can get their paws on. If your pet is drinking more water than usual, it could be a sign of an underlying health condition such as diabetes or kidney disease. Keep an eye on their water intake, and if you notice a sudden increase, consult with your vet. 7. Behavioral changes. Changes in your pet's behavior can also be a sign that something's not right. If your pet is suddenly aggressive, anxious, or irritable, it could be a sign of pain or discomfort. Conversely, if your pet is suddenly more affectionate or clingy than usual, it could be a sign that they're feeling insecure or unwell. 8. Unusual lumps or bumps. If you notice any unusual lumps or bumps on your pet, it's important to get them checked out by a vet. While some lumps are harmless, others can be a sign of cancer or other serious health conditions. Early detection is key, so don't hesitate to take your pet to the vet if you notice anything out of the ordinary. 9 eye or ear problems. Problems with your pet's eyes or ears can also be a sign of an underlying health issue. If you notice discharge or redness in your pet's eyes, or if they're constantly shaking their head or scratching their ears, it's time to visit the vet. Eye and ear infections can be painful and uncomfortable for your pet, so it's important to take them to a veterinary as soon as possible before something more severe happens. 10. Whimpering and winning. The sound can break your heart. Some pets remain stoically quiet when they're hurting, but others, especially young pets who have not experienced physical discomfort, may whimper and cry when they're feeling pain. Your presence may provide comfort and lead them to stop whining. It does not, however, mean they are no longer hurting. Whimpering or increased vocalizations, which can be intermittent, constant, or when touched, can indicate pain, but vocalization can be deceiving. Some owners think a quiet pet is not in pain, just because your pet is not whimpering does not mean he or she is not in pain. As a pet owner, it's important to be in tune with your pet's behavior and habits and to take action when you notice or suspect something is off. There are various causes of pain for pets, and some can be quite serious. 
So after determining how to tell if a pet is in pain, the next thing to do is speak with your veterinarian. They can be helpful in evaluating your pet's level of pain and helping you find ways to relieve it. So there you have it, 10 signs that your pet may be crying for help. If you notice any of these signs in your pet, it's important to seek veterinary care as soon as possible. Remember, our pets are like family members, and it's our responsibility to ensure that they receive the care and attention they need to stay healthy and happy. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and tricks for pet owners.